Hey, what's up guys? Vince here. Today I'm going to be bringing you guys a tutorial on how to create a combination lock inside of Minecraft. Um, this is good if you want to have basically password protected doors. Um, before we begin, I would like to let you guys know that I have two mods today. Um, one is single player console command, so I can toggle the time of day, weather, and you know, pretty much everything else. And I will also be using too many items so I can just give myself everything that's needed. Alright? So, another note too, before we begin, I would like to throw a shout out to Tavi Writer, who supplied the design for this contraption. Um, who's of which channel link can be found in the description of this video. So, let me go ahead and set the time today, and then I'll show you guys what we're doing here. So as you can see, the door's open. It's because the combination is set right now. Um, let me go ahead and reset this, and I'll show you guys what's going to, hold on, make it go a little faster, it was lagging a little bit, okay, so, these are when all the levers are on the on position, you see, or the off position, the door will not open, if I activate just one, the door will still not open. The correct combination has to be entered into our line of, I'm going to consider this input. Alright, so let's see what happens when I enter the correct combo, of course, which is B1, A3, B3, A4, and A5. Um, the reason why I'm saying A1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 is because then we have row A, which is the upper row, row B, which is the bottom row, and then lines 1 through 5. And when the correct combination is put in, bam, the door will open. So let me go ahead and show you guys what we're going to be building today. Um, this, it may look like a lot, but it's seriously just rep repetition, if anything. It's just a series of outputs. We're taking input from the levers, distributing the output through repeaters. And we're basically taking off one layer each row or every two um, rows we go down so you can see that it will eventually dwindle down from five to one okay and this of course will be our last output alright um, and what will then happen is when power is supplied to the well here these blocks are basically our passwords okay um, let me go ahead and go like that so the final block being A1, the next block being B1, A2, B2. What this means is wherever I have a um, lever, that means that that must remain in the on position or the off position is what we're going to consider it in order for no power to be distributed to the board. However, the like for instance B1 is part of my password we replace with redstone to make it part of the password but you guys will learn all that once we can build the second contraption now how it works is power must be off to the entire board right here in order for this not gate to activate which would then open the door um, this is our lever to check our our whole you know combination because what happens is if power is still going to here it will still turn off the not gate okay so let's go ahead and begin um, first and foremost you're gonna be needing some items to do this obviously these items are gonna be redstone torches levers redstone repeaters any form of block and three colors of wool you don't need the colors of wool neither do you even need the wool but I'm going to be using it for this tutorial. And then, of course, the basic redstone. Alright, so first things first. Use your stone, and you're going to want to make an 8 block wide wall. Of course, I just... Okay. Let me go ahead and go like this. Alright. And then once you have that, you're going to go ahead and want to make this too high. So we have something like this. Alright. 
Now you're going to want to add the levers. Now as you can see the levers are immediately set to an off position. We're going to want to flick them on. Because how we have it set over there is if power is on, then the board turns off. I know it seems confusing, but you guys will understand. So as soon as you put them down, go ahead and set them off. Three. Five. Okay. And then we need one here that is left in the off position. And that's going to check our combination when we're done. All right, so let's go ahead and go back here and start building the mechanism. This is the start of the output. We need one redstone torch on the back of all five levers. So what will happen is when lever is activated, power would come on. Okay? Then we need to use redstone repeaters to do the lower. Okay? Now, just a helpful hint with redstone repeaters is one, whichever direction you're facing, they'll be placed. So this can interrupt the flow of redstone. Um, so make sure that it is facing the correct way, which is the way it's facing right now when doing this. Easy way to do this is walk up to the wall, turn completely around, look down, and jump place them. So you know they're facing the right way. Another thing too is make sure that they are at their original state. Do not toggle them. Okay, make sure they're, the, they're at the original closest together state. Otherwise, it will interrupt the flow of the stone, uh, the electricity, and it will make your combinations have a delay. Okay? So, what I'm going to be doing now is building it. Um, you don't have to do it the way I'm about to do it, but I'm doing it because I feel like it's going to be faster and if we have limited time for these tutorials. So, let me just go ahead and get that down. Okay. As you can see, what I'm doing is basically just skipping one row and placing it. It's because those are going to be the areas where the doubles are, pl uh, like the upper row is going to be placed. So then what we're going to want... Okay. Now that we have this, what we need to do now is place the redstone on the upper row. So, go ahead and do this. Notice how all the redstone repeaters are facing in one direction. It needs to be like that, otherwise it will not work. It's a common mistake when this is being built. Okay. Now, next step, we have to actually add a block in between all of these. Because as you can see, what's happening right now is if one of those levers are activated, it will only supply power to one part. So how we fix that is, oop. Alright, so how we fix that is we add a block. What it does is it energizes this block and continues the power. So, just letting you guys know. So this is a necessity of this mechanic. There we go. I'm lagging and it's... It's annoying. Let me go like that. Okay. Notice that while I'm doing this, I'm actually starting to break it down like I was doing with the repeaters. It's not all going to be the same length. So. It's because we don't need it the same length. Because remember, all these are doing is carrying the energy. Alright, so there we go. 
This is really the hardest part of the entire thing. The rest of it's smooth sailing from here. So as you can see is we have a, a you know, basically a pattern. We have two blocks and it dwindles down and it just keeps dwindling down all the way until we're down with the one left. So the next step what we need to do is every second block on the upper row needs to have a redstone torch. Okay, so starting here, one, two, one, two, and then just complete that pattern all the way down. And this will supply us with the power from the upper row. All right. Now the next part might get a little confusing, so just follow as close as you can step by step to what I'm doing. First you're going to want to go to the second block on the lower row and run a redstone line of about four wide. Or four wide, four long, that's all we need, okay? Then we're going to go two in, space over two, and place another. It should look something like that, okay? Just, like I said, try the best you can to keep up with this. Basically two blocks from the next one, okay? So repeat that pattern. Um, just know that as you go down, they all need to be at the same length when you stop, okay? So the first one is actually setting the length, and the rest just need to follow. Oh. Okay. So like I said, two, then place. And you'll see why in a minute. Alright, now once we got this, we need to run through and put this and that. Do that to all of them, okay? So what you're doing is you're going to where you put the redstone, put one, put one on top of that redstone, and put a redstone right there. What that does is it makes it to where this line and this line won't connect, but will still receive power from the redstone torch. Alright, so let's go ahead and go like that do that all the way down okay so now we have all of our lines of output alright that pig is really starting to annoy me so bye bye pig alright so now that we have all of our output set just in case it's too dark you guys can see it all right. Now what we need to do is we need to run through and put a block at the end of each redstone line. Okay. So, wow, that was a fail. All right. All right, next thing we need to do now is add redstone to the top of each one. All right. Then we need to put a redstone torch on the face of each one. Looks like I failed over here. Yep. Okay. So, now, once you've done this, just so you don't get confused, I'm going to go ahead and go like that. That was a fail, just to let you guys know. Don't. Yeah. Okay. what I'm doing is I'm digging a ditch all the way to the start It's because I'm color coding it for this video alright so what you're gonna wanna do now is take one of your colors of wool this is gonna be our power trail this is gonna be the trail that when power is supplied to it the door won't open Okay, so next what we're going to want to go ahead and do is make this, put as much redstone on this as we can. So in between the torches all the way down and then a steady line 
everywhere else. So what this will do is it will make it to where if any of these receive power, the whole thing receives power. But we're also going to implement something to make sure that that never happens. Okay. Oop. All right. And then we're going to do that. We're actually going to do that. All right. So before we go back and f um, make some alterations to this, first we're going to set. Whoa. Forgot about that. Go ahead and set up our check. It's where if the lever. It's where we'll check to make sure that the combination is correct. Go ahead and get my torches back out here. All right, what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to run this directly into it to where it forms something to that effect. And actually, you're going to want to get rid of that. And just go ahead and set up, you know, kind of like a knot gate. Okay. As you can see, we have no power to it because power is being distributed to the board. And if, you know, see, when no power is, it works. Okay. So now to actually set the combination, all right? So let me go to my other one to refer on how to do this because it's already got the codes all set up. So how this works is our first input, so technically lever one on the top left, A1, is all the way at the back, okay? That's our first block. Then our second block is B1, A2, B2, A3, B3, so on and so forth, all the way down. Um, so how you set your password is quite simple. If I want to change my password from, let's say, what am I doing? Okay, hold on. Time seems like it's going by awfully fast. All right, so if I wanted to change the password from, you know, B1, A3, B3, A4, A5, I can just add a torch and now it would only be A3, B3, A4, and 5. If you want to add one, you simply remove the torch and place a redstone in its place. So over here, I'm going to make the password really simple. It's going to be A1 and B1, meaning row A number 1, row B number 1. All I'm doing is simply removing one and removing that one. What that will do is it will make power be supplied. Speaking of, before we go too far, I need to make sure you need to add the security measure to make sure that the board receives power. So count four blocks, and on the fourth block, remove the redstone in front of the torch, place a redstone repeater facing um, towards the front of the contraption, and remove the redstone right there. What this does is if power is received to the very back one, it ensures that the, everything else will be powered. And do the same thing up here. Count four blocks. One, two, three, four. On the fourth one, get rid of it. Put a repeater and get rid of that piece of redstone. And as you can see, what happens if only power is being distributed back there, this will make sure that power is sent all the way to the front. Okay, it's just a security measure just to make sure your contraption can't be cheated. So how this works then is simply we set our password to be... Um, we set it to be, uh, yeah, A1 and B1. So, in order to make this door work, which obviously it won't right now because the password's wrong, we would do lever A1, lever B1, and hit it. And as you can see, the door opens. So, as you can see, guys, super, super simple. I mean, and yeah, that's it. So if you have any questions um, or comments or even suggestions on my next tutorial, feel free to comment on this video or message me here on YouTube. Don't forget to stop by and check out Tabby Writer's YouTube channel, pretty much the designer of this contraption. Other than that, thanks for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget the uh, thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Peace out, guys.